Hello, everyone. I just wanted to look at this question here. Um, and the reason I wanted to look at it is because it involves, um, it's an exam question that involves having to use um, a technique that isn't explicitly covered in the um, Edexcel textbook. So I think for that reason, it is uh, worthwhile looking at. And just as an aside, we're going to talk about how we deal with um, differentiating and integrating expressions like 2 to the kx and y is equal to 2 to the x. So first of all, I'm just going to talk about differentiating these. We don't need the differentiating for this question, but um, this discussion is relevant when we come to thinking about integrating. So first of all, let's say I wanted to differentiate y equals 2 to the kx. So the first thing I would do is take logs of both sides. Okay, so I've taken logs of both sides. I would then use the power rule of logs to bring the kx to the front. So I've just used the power law to bring that to the front. And I'm now going to differentiate this expression implicitly. So ln y is going to go to 1 over y dy by dx. And when I differentiate that, the x is going to disappear. And when I differentiate this with respect to x, I'm going to be left with k ln 2. We then multiply by y so that we have dy by dx is equal to y times k ln 2. And our y is 2 to the kx. So we end up with 2 to the kx times by k ln 2 is our derivative of 2 to the kx. So we could easily be asked to um, prove that uh, in an exam question. The slightly simpler version here, we follow the similar rule. We take uh, natural logs of both sides to start off with. Again, we use the power law. So we have x ln 2. We now take uh, differentiate both sides, in, um, and this is going to be implicit. So we have 1 over y dy by dx is equal to just going to be ln 2, because the x will disappear. Then we multiply both sides now by the y. So we have y ln 2. So we have dy by dx is equal to uh, 2 to the x times by ln 2. So that's how we would differentiate 2 to the x and 2 to the kx. Now let's think about integrating them, okay? So if I wanted to integrate 2 to the kx, it's going to be um, just the opposite of integrating, of differentiating. Now when I differentiate, I end up with um, 2 to the kx times k ln 2. This is all constants. So therefore, if I wanted to integrate 2 to the kx, what it would turn into is 2 to the kx, but instead of being multiplied by the k ln 2, it would be divided by k ln 2, okay? So if you ever need to integrate um, anything, it doesn't have to be 2, it could be any number there. Uh, you know, it could be a to the kx. a to the kx would be a to the kx over k ln, two, uh, k ln a. So that's how you would integrate um, 2 to the kx. And this is the thing that we need for this question, how to integrate 2 to the x dx. We're using the um, fact that if we differentiate it, it goes to 2x ln 2. When we integrate this, it's going to go to 2x divided by ln 2. And that's why I want to look at this question, because that um, is not explicitly covered in the Edexcel textbook. And it's one of those things where there are sometimes things occur in the exam that are not on the um, not in the textbook, which can be uh, a little bit disconcerting if you haven't seen it before. So yeah, that's how we do that. So that's the background knowledge we need for starting this question. Okay, so let's start this question then. And it's telling us at least to use integration by parts. And the good thing about that is we are given the integration by parts formula in the formula booklet. So that is useful. So let's just write that down. So we have u v dashed is the integral of u v dashed is equal to u times v minus the integral of v u dashed. So we're given that in the formula booklet. Okay, uh, that is good. So we've got our little acronym here. The whole u can be late when we're thinking about which bit to use as which in integration by parts. You might remember that that is logs. That is algebra. T is trig, 
and E stands for exponential, so anything that's like an exponential kind of power. In this case, we've got 2 to the x. So if we're integrating x, 2 to the x dx, using our little acronym, we can see that algebra uh, is a higher priority for being u than an exponential. So we're going to say that u is equal to x, and v dashed is equal to 2 to the x. So therefore, our u dashed is 1. And using the piece of information that we've just um, outlined earlier, we can now say that our v um, is going to be 2 to the x over lun 2, as we just discussed previously. So that is going to be 2 to the x over lun 2 is going to be our v. OK, that's perfect. So let's like put this into the integration by parts formula. Uh, we're integrating between 0 and 2. So the integral between 0 and 2 of x 2 to the x dx is going to be u times v, which is going to be x times by 2 to the x over ln 2, uh, minus the integral of um, u, v u dashed, which is going to be 2 to the x over ln 2 times by our v dash, which is 1 dx. OK, and this whole thing is between 0 and 2. So we could put there, that's 2 and that's 0, and this is 0 and that is 2. Now, we come to have to integrate this bit again. So let's think about, just explode this and think about this. Well, 1 over ln 2 is just a constant, so it can come out of the integral. And we're just integrating um, 2 to the x here. So we've got to integrate 2 to the x. So 2 to the x, as we discussed previously, is going to go to 2 to the x over ln 2. So we end up with um, 2 to the x over ln 2 times by the 1 over ln 2 that is there from before. So that is going to go to, in fact, 2 to the x over ln 2 squared. So that's what we've got to evaluate there. And again, that is going to be between 2 and 0. And in fact, this whole thing is going to be between 2 and 0 now. 2 to the x over ln 2. And that's uh, our integrated thing, expression, that we are now going to put uh, the limits into. x 2 to the x over ln 2 minus 2 to the x over ln 2 squared. So now it's just a question of putting the limits into this um, expression now. So let's just do that. OK, so first of all, we're going to put the 2 in there. So that's going to give us um, 2 times by 2 to the 2 over ln 2 minus uh, 2 to the 2 over ln 2 squared. Minus, we're going to have 0 there because we've got a 0 in the numerator. And we're going to have minus 2 to the 0 over ln 2 squared. OK, what we're going to have here, so this is going to go to 2 squared, which is going to be 4 times 2 is going to be 8 over ln 2 minus 4 over ln 2 squared. And then minus minus is going to go to a plus 1 over uh, ln 2 squared. So that is going to go to um, 8. Let's have a look at that over ln 2 uh, minus 3. Uh, over learn to or squared. OK, now it says give your answer as a single simplified fraction. So we're almost there. We just need to combine these two fractions. So in order to combine these two fractions, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator of this expression by learn to. So that's going to be 8 learn to over learn to squared minus 3 over learn to squared which can be combined into a single fraction. So that is 8 ln 2 minus 3 over ln 2 all squared. And that is our answer as a single simplified fraction. I hope that you found that useful. And I just wanted to focus on that particular question uh, today because of the way that I know that that's something that uh, really causes students to stumble. Uh, and I hope that you found that helpful. And I'll see you in the next video.